Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Sadiq. I have prepared for Karbala. I have read many uh, books and uh, uh, watched many videos about the ziyarat and places about the Karbalas and Iraq and Kufa and Najaf. Basically, Karbala is mostly related with our third Imam, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, uh, tragedy of Karbala. Many times we think that uh, uh, how this place was, uh, how this place, and uh, every time I think how Karbala will, how Karbala, now I actually feel how Karbala is. Uh, service to the Zayr, Iraqi people, very humbly, uh, with humanity, serve the Zayr of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Merits of the Ziyarat of the Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Uh, we have heard in the many books, in the many hadiths of our Masumin, the merits of Ziyarat is uh, unlimited. We cannot describe the merits of Ziyarat of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So the love of ahl uh, brings to the Karbala. So it is the main reason the love of ahl bayt and the merits of Ziyarat is unlimited. So people uh, attract to the Karbala. The spiritual uh, food of the uh, faith and the soul, uh, physically and mentally, both we get uh, here at Karbala. Of course, the house of uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad and his Ahl al Bayt is giving the spiritual uh, things from his uh, places. Main reason behind the tragedy of Karbala is the truth. Imam Hussein. Uh, give his life and everything for truth and true Islam. He shows us to what is the true Islam and how to follow the Islam by his action and by his merits. Uh, Imam Hussein not uh, uh, fought uh, only for one religion or for one community. He fought for the humanity, right of human. Uh, right of uh, one person to another person. So it attracts to uh, be united with the other community and other religion as Imam Hussein fought for the humanity. Karbala is not only for the one religion, also uh, involved the political things like uh, Yazid is uh, he's a king and he fought for uh, injustice against the Yazid. So uh, he give Imam Hussein alayhi salam give the right way to how to uh, talk uh, and communicate and uh, fought against uh, uh, corrupted uh, 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 politicians. So Imam Hussein alayhi salam also inspired uh, to uh, be a good politician and also involved in the politician. As soon as I enter in the Karbala, uh, I eager to go to Haram. And when I see the Haram of Imam Hussein Islam, I cried first. I remember the, all the uh, tragedy of Karbala of Imam Hussein Islam and get the spiritual, spiritual fruit from the Imam Hussein Islam. First time I didn't ask for anything, I just become the mute, what to speak. And with the love of Imam Hussain al-Islam, I feel he is in front of me and I am meeting with him first time. It's a very, very uh, uh, spiritual experience for me. I can say the paradise on the earth is a Karbala. I heard many things about the paradise, paradise characteristics of paradise. I uh, really experienced these uh, characteristics and all the things in uh, uh, Bainul Haramain. In between the Bainul Haram and I feel uh, I am in the heaven. First, I, I tell the, what we think and what we feel is very different. Experience is we get a spiritual things and everything here. If you, I tell them that if you don't come Karbala, you have never or not done anything in life. Uh, if you uh, come at Karbala, your life and your uh, your life is very different after the visiting the shrine of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, my name is Sayyid Jirarsha. I'm from Manchester, UK. Um, this is my first visit in Karbala. 
which is we start this visit on Saturday. We came here uh, with, uh, with the 24 people, which is women and bands. And uh, today we came to yours place to speak about Karbala. So I've been to different places in my life. I've done a lot of holidays. But you know, I never feel fearful and spiritually. Uh, so all, all my life I was thinking about to go to Karbala and uh, visit here to see the, see the spirituality which is we belong from. And uh, I feel which is we belong from the same destiny where we are right now. And the journey we started on Saturday, which I just explained to you before, it was a miracle, honestly. I was uh, very emotional. I was thinking all the way uh, how the, these people, when they left Medina and they came to Karbala, how was they have feeling that time, all of our imams and Princeton Park and all the kafila. So each every journey teach me a lot. And uh, I don't have words, to be honestly, to explain about the feeling which I have and I'm still going through this emotional thing which is, uh, took me somewhere else, I don't know what's going to be happening in the future. But uh, only I know which is where we are right now. This is the destiny should be for the, all the Muslims. It's for everyone. This is the place where you learn, where you feel the pain and you feel the pain of, pain of Pantan Park, right? And the destiny of Islam. That's the actual destiny, which we, as a Muslim, we totally forgot. And we divided to the different groups, which is, they are the human end of the day. But they, they are so far, which, the, which is the reality. And my prayer is for Allah. May Allah give them a tawfiq to join us this journey, Karbala journey, Park journey, and they feel the difference. That's all I can say. Uh, we have, alhamdulillah, we have a very big community, Shia community. And we have a lot of Imam Bargaz and uh, mosque, and uh, we go regular, uh, which is not even the Muharram. We always have the events where we go and our children's goes and our families goes. And uh, we are very close to our religions because we always updated our uh, spirituality to go there in the Imam courts. And when we came here, that's two totally different feelings. You understand? This is just, you can't explain. Like I said before, it's totally, when you see it, it's different. When you have a feeling, before when we go to the uh, courts in Mambarga, we only can see the ziyarwat, small, small ziyarwat, and we have a vision throughout how it's going to be reality when you go and see them face to face. And it's just a, it's just a totally, it's totally different feeling, though. And, uh, but regarding of the spirituality in, in our places, it's just because I feel the Pantan Park is everywhere. It's not only the same place. This is my feelings. They are everywhere. They are in the world. Do you understand? It's not a specific place because they are the Noor. And Noor is spread. Noor is not for the one place. It's belong not for the one place. It's for everyone. It's for everywhere. That's my feeling is. Yeah. You know, when I walk in, when I walk into the Karbala, when I come, walk into the Muharram, and when I see first time Rose Ghazi Abbas and I have the feelings like this is a, this is Jannah, this is heaven in the earth, and you can have the feeling there's the angels around around this area, and uh, it's the the smell of the smell of the atmosphere is totally it's like a heaven. It's not like it, you go to different places all over the world, very nice places where nice areas and there's the artificial. Uh, smells in there, which is totally different. But here you can feel is a smell of Jannat, is a smell of spirituality, is smell of uh, Imam Parks, and you can see them presence here. It's it's all about how do you see them. Do you understand? It's not all about how you how you feel. It's all about how do you your faith is, how your emotions telling you. So that's the difference is, which is I think every everybody who's belong from them. All the Shias, they have the feeling, they can see it, they can feel it. It's the only place, even I went to Umbrah, we went to Hajj, right? There is a, there is a, Alhamdulillah, there is a feeling there. But here is a two different feelings. One is a spirituality, one is a Muslimiyat, one is a journey. The journey they start, we are still carrying on that journey, basically. That journey is never end. This journey is never end up to, uh, in the day of judgment. And... And, and that, that, that's the difference 
that is the big difference in the two different spiritual places, which is one Kawa, Medina, and, and Haram. And it's a different, and, and like people ask, a lot of people saying when you go to Hajj, when you go to Kaaba, you have the different feelings. When you go to Medina, it's like a very calm feeling, very spiritual feeling. Because I always say, because the Islam starts from Pahle Bayt, and it starts from Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So because they are blessed, they are blessed from Allah. So that's why it's a big difference when you go there, when you have, go to Medina and when you go to Ahle Bayt, this is a Islam, this is a actually base and foundation. And this foundation, look how they spread this, this Pantan Park is only five people which we believe they spread the Islam all over the world, right? There's you no know, only one place is uh, designed by them, it's designed by for all the earth. You know, the education and the spirituality is two different things. Education can't tell you how do you feel. Education tells you how much you know what is happening. But the spirituality is totally different. Philosophy is a philosophy of how you relate it with them. Same like we have the family, we have a feeling for both them, and uh, we see them. But some of the people are very close to you, right? It's like you can call it soulmates, yeah. But some people in the family you don't close to them. You understand? You don't. You still have the feeling for them, but spiritually, like a soul to soul, you don't connect it with them. Here I'm talking about soul. It's like you are. Only people who knows about the soul journey is, this is like we are here, we are just, a, we are the people, but we have the soul in the same time inside us. And the soul journey is the most important journey in the world because this body will, just for the dunya, and we left our everything, including our, our body was going to be buried, but the soul has never died. Souls always been here in this earth, Allah made these souls. So our we I feel our soul is born from the Alibat. And that, that's called spirituality. Yeah? Do you feel it? The feeling is not how you can tell people how do you feel and you can't put it inside in the mouths or give it to them. It's just how do you feel? I always say, you know, when this uh, from this, this Karbala is this started from it's my opinion, it's from Hazrat Adam al that that thing Karbala happened, the time has been made by Allah. Yeah? It's, it's, it's been written. It's been written how it's going to be happened. Then you feel the difference between, between the right path and the wrong path. So that's the journey it's been started, like I said before, from the beginning. And when this, this happened, and I think this Karbala teaches you a lot less than even, you know, like uh, humanity, about uh, the reality, about any prospect of them life, it will teach you a lot, which is, you can't learn from the universities. The university only teach you whatever accordingly, whoever have the opinion, they write the books and they spread it to the world. But it's this, this, this reality is, is being there and it's always going to be there. I will say on the words, which is, you know, when you have a love for somebody and the person is, you know the person and he lives somewhere around the world and when you go and visit the person and then you have a more desire to come back again and again to see and visit the person and look we're talking about Pantan Park and the people we love and we always love we've been to uh, belong from them and that's why I feel I'm going to be a I, I even don't feel like to go back, honestly. I feel like to coming back and I feel like to living in here because like, a, you know, when you're lost in the world and then you find your destiny and you don't want to leave your destiny because that's your destiny. And that's why I feel.